What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. As you guys know, I have been having issues with Zotac fans and we finally got some in to replace the fans. But unfortunately, they're not correct. If you look at these real close, the one on the right that is actually ticking away right now is a little bigger than the one on the left. So to be honest, I think these fans belong with these super amped editions or the TIs rather. I have amped and TI editions, but I think this is the right size and the right fan for that style GPU. Even looking at this GPU over here, this is like the just plain Jane 1660 TI, no back. These fans are actually just too big. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but they're like slightly too big for those ones. They are literally just about perfect for these ones, it looks like anyways. And for this one right here, it would fit the first one. Obviously, I can only get so close. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. It doesn't look like it would fit, but I promise you, if it was in there, it would fit. The other one, if I put these in, it would just look funny, I guess. So I actually have three more sets of these, not this style. It's actually the style that I believe is correct for these GPUs. I'll leave a picture right here on the screen so you guys can see. It's noticeable that the fan on the right side is bigger than the fan on the left. So I'm gonna wait for those ones to come in and once they do, I'm actually going to order another three or four sets because obviously I have this GPU, this one. I mean, realistically, I have 10 of these white Zotex. I got six here, I have three here, and I got one back there. So it's just super annoying that these fans are a problem. I mean, I guess the ones that aren't giving me issues right now are fine because the stickers are actually off of them. It's just the fact that I have to replace them in general really aggravates me. So I'd like to have a couple extra sets on hands. Like I said, worst case, I can use these. It's just gonna look funny. It, I mean, it is what it is. But either way, so my plans got ruined today. And as you guys know, we do hump day hashing. So that's gonna be this evening. I'm just gonna make this a short video. I wanna see if I can get this card to flash with the MSI BIOS, finally. I think I figured out how to do it. So let's get into HiveOS and I'm gonna show you guys my thoughts. All right, so here we are inside CCXD3. As you guys can see, this is the uh, 1660 Super and the other one is down here, GPU 11 and GPU 2. So I already showed this in yesterday's video. I then come to realize updating to the latest version might be the fix to this. So let's see if it works. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, whatever. I mean, you guys are gonna see me live in a little bit. This is just kind of a burner video anyways. So let's see if it works. So I'm gonna do a force upgrade and reboot after complete. As you guys know, I just swapped over the USBs to M.2s. We haven't updated those USBs in quite some time. As you can see right here, we're at 0.06-208 and it's now 0.06-211, which is obviously way more current. And I think we needed at least the dash 210 update to be able to flash the BIOS to MSI for these Zotac cards. For whatever reason, don't ask me, but that's what we've come to uh, figure out, I guess. So I'm really, really, really curious to see if this works. All right, so it shows that the actual Hive OS is up to date now. So let's go up here. We're going to stop the miner. I'm going to go back to Hive OS. I'm going to choose my farm. We're going to go to cards. I'm going to scroll down to CCXD3, GPU2, Hynix memory. We're going to come over here. As you guys know, I already saved the original BIOS. So I'm going to select a vBIOS to flash. We're going to check off reboot after flashing and force flash, ignore security checks. And we're gonna use the MSI version because I know the MSI version works for a fact on these Zotac cards. Let's choose flash card and hope for the best. I wanna see if my uh, rig crashes now. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh my gosh, it's actually booting up. It would normally freeze at this point. Literally that rig would normally freeze at this point. I am beyond excited. I really hope this works. If that seriously works, that was the most simple fix on the planet. Oh my God, it worked. Get out of here. So now you guys know you need a minimum of the version 2.1.0. I'm stunned. I am absolutely stunned. 
Let's see what this hash is at. All right, so as you can see, two cards are throwing errors, which is weird. NVIDIA settings applied with errors. Not too sure what that's about, but as you can see, the MSI card that we, uh, or the Zotac card that we flashed, the MSI rather, those tend to have issues where it may not read the temperature. I don't know why the third one isn't reading because I didn't touch that one, but is what it is. I'm gonna restart the rig. So real quick, after you're done flashing these BIOSes, and you adjust the overclocks like this, like I put 2550 on the memory and left the core clock on there as 1050, that's the lock clock or absolute clock, whatever you guys wanna call it. It's gonna say this, Nvidia settings applied with errors. Honestly, it doesn't affect anything. I just throw it in the trash, just hit this little trash can, it goes away. Because obviously the card's working fine. There's really no issues, so. So that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to show you that this actually does work inside Hive OS for the Zotac cards. That was my bad, not updating the actual Hive OS to the latest version. So that's all you gotta do. So I'm beyond excited that that actually worked. Guys, I'll see you later this evening for hump day hashing. This is just meant to be a quick video. I'm not trying to beat a dead horse with this BIOS flashing stuff, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Please stay safe and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.